So are you also fed up of replying to those same messages regularly about your store information? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Pabli Chat Flow and in this video we are going to understand how to create a store info board which will share your business hours and address. So over here I'm running a cafe and I regularly receive multiple messages asking me for my cafe's address, location and also the opening hours. And this is such a tedious task to reply to them every day. So to solve this problem, I've simply created a WhatsApp chatbot using Pabli Chatflow, which will respond to all of these messages without any manual efforts. So do you also want to see the proper working of this chatbot and know how to create this chatbot for your business? Then for that, you have to come with me towards my screen. So as you know, today we learn how to create a chatbot that automatically responds to customer inquiries, collect important details and provide store information like business as location and contact details. So a chatbot is essential for businesses as it saves time and enhances the customer experience by instantly providing accurate information. So instead of manually responding to every query, the bot can handle the conversations more effectively and ensure customer receive the right details. So let's take an example. Suppose I run a cafe and customer often message on WhatsApp asking what time do you open or where is your cafe located? So instead of answering the same question repeatedly, we can create a chatbot that collects the customer details and provide a relevant cafe information. So now let's start building our chatbot step by step. So as you can see that I've already opened my Pabli Chatflow account and this is the dashboard of my Pabli Chatflow account. And now from the left side of the bar, we are simply going to go towards this flow section of Pabli Chatflow. And now after coming over here towards the flow, we are going to build a flow from scratch. So I'm just going to go towards this add flow option given right over here. And as soon as we're going to click on the add flow option, this is the window which will appear in front of us. Alright, so now over here the first step is setting the trigger which determines when the chatbot should respond. So we'll choose the trigger and we're going to enter the keywords right over here. So I'm just going to enter some majorly and most commonly used keywords like hey, hello and hi. So to enter the keywords, I'm just going to enter my keyword and then select it right over here. You have to keep in mind that your keyword should come in this like blue thing so that they are going to get selected. Otherwise, if you're directly going to enter the keywords like this, then they are not going to get selected all right so we have to enter hello right over here as another keyword and then i'm just going to enter one more keyword which is hi so these are the three most majorly and most commonly used keywords all right so i've entered it right over here so i've added the keywords so that the chatbot gets activated when a user message contains this specific words so over here instead of entering many keywords and entering every possible variation i'm just going to use regex instead of this keywords so whenever a user sends message with words Words, the chatbot will detect it and trigger the response. Let's say that one person might type and say what are your store hours while the another might type and say when do you open, the another might type and say what is your store's location. So instead of manually entering all the possible variation, we use regex. So regex means regular expressions. Alright, so to enter regex right over here, we have to use a specific pattern. And if you want to learn more about that pattern, I'm just going to attach a document link for that in the description box below. Alright, I'm just going to enter the regex in the pattern right over here. So yes, you can see that I've successfully entered my regex right over here. And now I'm just going to simply switch on this toggle button. So over here it is saying enter regex to match the substring trigger. Enable toggle for the case of sensitive regex. So over here I'm just going to enable this toggle for the sensitive regex case. It is not mandatory to switch on this toggle button right from here. Alright, you should only switch on this toggle for sensitive regex. Alright. So as you can see that with this, we have successfully completed our trigger step. And now whenever I'm just going to get a message with these words containing in them, automatically this flow will get started. So then I'm just going to show you the regex which I've entered, which is ours. You can see I've entered another which is timings, open, closed, location, address and contact. 
So yes, now we are just going to move on forward. Over here, first I want to ask my customer about their name. Alright, so to ask them about their name, I'm just going to go towards this actions from the left side of the bar. And over here, you can see there's an option of ask question. So I'm just going to drag and drop it right over here and connect it with this flow start like this. So now after connecting this, we're going to move on forward. And over here in the question, we are just going to enter the message. So yes, you can see that this is the message I have entered. Now we're going to move on forward. Over here, I'm just going to select the contact custom field. So over here in the contact custom field, I'm just going to select it as full name. And if you want to learn more about this contact custom field and how to create this, you can go towards the left side of the bar towards the settings and over here you're going to get the option of contact custom fields. I'm just going to open this in a new tab and right from here you can create multiple contact custom fields like I have did. You would just have to go towards this add more field button and create your own. As you can see that I've already created it so I'm just going to select the same which is full name and now for the format I'm just going to select it as text because the name will come in text format only. We are going to move on forward it is asking me for the number of attempts. So I'm just going to keep it as one only. If you wish, you can definitely enter more number of attempts right over here. And now it is asking me for the validation message. So no, I don't want to give any. So I'm just going to leave it as blank. If you wish, you can definitely enter validation message too right over here. All right. So now we're going to move forward. Now after asking the name, I'm just going to ask for the email address of my potential customer. For that, I'm just going to add another ask question button right over here. And we're just simply going to connect these both right over here. Once again, I'm just going to enter the message message to ask for the gmail so yes you can see that i've successfully entered this message now we're going to move forward once again i'm just going to select the contact custom field as email this time and now for the format also i'm just going to select it as email i'm just going to give the number of attempts which is one all right so now after asking my customer or my potential customer for their name and then email we are going to move on forward all right so i'm just going to add another action step for that i'm just going to start a connection right from here and we're just going to choose the content type as text plus button and we are going to connect it with this email question thing and now it is asking me to enter the message so i'm just going to enter the message right over here which is great how can i help you today so yes you can see that i've successfully added this message which is great how can i help you today please select an option from below and over here i'm just going to add options so that my potential customer can select one from that all right so for adding the options i'm just going to go towards this add button and we are going to add the buttons right over here. I'm just going to add three options right over here. First is business hours, second is store address and the third is contact details. So I'm just going to add all of these one by one. First, I'm just going to add business hours right over here. And after adding this, we're going to move on forward towards the another. I'm just going to add another button over here. I'm just going to enter store address. We're going to add another, which is contact details. I'm just going to click on this add button. So yes, you can see that I've successfully added all of these three options. All right. So now I've given three options to my customer, which is business hours, store address, and then the contact details. All right. So now after giving them these three options, we are going to move on forward. And one by one, we are going to add message, which is what will happen if they select business hours, what will happen if they select store address, and what will happen if they select contact details. So I'm just going to add a message in front of all of these three one by one. First, I'm just going to add the business hours. So I'm just going to drag and drop the connection. Choose the content type as text plus button right over here. Once again, I'm just going to enter the message, which is the business hours of my cafe. So yes, you can see that I've successfully entered the message right over here. You can see business hours. I've entered the business hours and over here I further asked a question that you also like to know our store address. Once again, I'm just going to add two buttons right over here for yes or no. All right. So I'm just going to enter the text right over here for yes and no. So as you can see that I've successfully entered yes show address and now I'm just going to add for the no for that. I'm just going to click on this add button and then enter the text. All right. So now after entering both of this, we are going to move on further towards the another option which was the store address all right so i'm just going to connect this once again choose the content type as text plus button right over here once again all right i'm just going to enter the message right over here so i want the message to be this which says store address over here you can see the store address we're going to move on forward it is saying would you like a google maps link for easy navigation once again i'm just going to add a button right over here and enter get directions right over here all right so once again i've successfully added this button and now we're going to move on forward towards the another option which is contact details all right so i'm just going to drag and drop it select 
select the content type as text plus button once again i'm just going to enter the message right over here so yes you can see that i've successfully entered the message which is contact details i've entered the phone number the email and also the conclusion message that is we look forward to see you at the sunrise cafe all right so now we're going to move on forward you can see that now we have to add the message in front of this yes show address so as you can see that i've already created a address field right over here which is the store address so i'm just going to connect this yes show address with this box right over here so now if the customer is going to click on this yes show address automatically it is going to redirect it to this message so now if my potential customer is going to click on this button which is yes show address automatically this message is going to be sent which will also be going to be sent on the store address option all right so now after connecting this we're going to move forward i'm just going to add the directions right over here which is the google maps link so i'm just going to connect this and select the content type as text plus button right over here and now i'm just going to enter the message and yes over here you can see that we have successfully entered the message you can see that this is the concluding message and also the google maps link so yes with this we have successfully created this flow where what will happen is first we're going to ask for the customer name and email then we're going to give them three options which is business hours store address and contact details all right and then further we are going to send the message based on their options so now we are going to test the running of this flow for that i'm just going to save this flow but before saving this flow i'm just going to name this flow as right over here store information bot so i'm just going to enter store info bot right over here and then we are simply going to save this flow all right so i'm just going to click on this blue button which says save and yes you can see flow updated successfully we have successfully saved this flow you have to keep in mind that you have to save this flow first all right and also you have to keep in mind that this flow is activated right from here you have to keep in mind that this is switched on so yes you can see that i've successfully created this flow and now i'm just going to test this flow once for that i'm just going to open my whatsapp and let's say that i'm just going to message this cafe hey when do you open all right so i'm just going to enter hey when do you open so yes you can see that i've typed the message and i'm just going to send it the message so yes you can see it is saying hello welcome to sunrise cafe before we continue can i have your name to assist you better all right so i'm just going to give them my name let's see which is test user so i'm just going to enter the name and send them all right now it is asking thanks now please share email so that we can send you updates and offers so i'm just going to enter my email right over here which is test at the rate pably to dot com so i'm just going to enter my email right over here and then we are simply going to send this email address to all right now after sending this email address it is saying great now how can i help you today please select an option from below let's say that i want to know about the business hours so i'm just going to select business hours right over here it is saying business hours is monday to friday this and saturday to sunday this would you like to know the store address so yes i'm just going to see this i'm just going to click on this yes show address and yes you can see that over here is the store address all right so now i'm just going to get the directions too for that i'm just going to click on this button which is get directions so as you can see that we have received this message which is we are looking forward to see you at the sunrise cafe find us here so where is the link to with the help of which i can get the direction let's say that instead of selecting business hours this potential customer selected store address directly so directly it is going to give the store address which is this and further once again it is asking would you like a google maps link for easy navigation so after clicking on this get directions automatically it is going to give me the conclusion message and the direction let's say that someone selects this contact details so i'm just going to select this contact details and yes over here it is providing me with the contact details too which is the phone and the email all right with the conclusion message too so as you can see that with this we have successfully created this flow and we have also tested this flow and it is running perfectly fine so now whenever my customer or my potential customer is going to ask me for any of this which is hours timings basically about the address location or the timings of my cafe automatically this flow is going to run and reply to that message so yes with this we have successfully created a chat bot to provide our potential customers of our store information over here i'm just going to show you another feature of pably2 so i'm just going to go towards this inbox from the left side of the bar and i'm just going to open this in a new tab and yes right over here you can see all the conversation which happened between the potential customer and the bot you can track it right from here from the inbox section of your pably chat flow account not only this you can see that the customer provided with their name and the email address so from the right side of the bar you can see contact custom fields we are going to go towards this and over here you can see that the email and the full name has been added right over here auto 
automatically without any manual efforts just my customer shared it and it is added right over here automatically so with this bot not only sending and receiving of whatsapp messages but you can also collect the customer information like i did so as you can see that with this we have successfully completed this flow and we've also tested this flow and we have also received the message right over here in the inbox too so yes this chatbot was specifically designed for a cafe but the same logic can be applied to your store too it helps you to automate and response collect important details and provide instant support and that's it with this we have successfully created a chatbot that replies to messages collect customer details and give them our store information so go try it out yourself and see how easy it is to automate conversations with pably chat flow and if you found this tutorial helpful stay tuned for more automation tips see you in the next video